Hello and welcome to Hampshire Cricket TV, a brand new programme that brings you exclusive access to the players, the coaches and everything going on here at the Aegeus Bowl. Coming up on today's show, we bring you two exclusive interviews as Giles White talks about his new role as Director of Cricket and all-rounder Matt Coles expresses his desire to play for England and perform this season with both bat and ball. Hampshire Cricket TV's Alex O'Loughlin first sat down with Giles. Giles, it's a new year and a, and a new role for you this season as well as you become Director of Cricket. For those who aren't too savvy on what it involves, what, what is the main change for you? Oh, it's, it's more of a, um, a change to just free me up to see the whole department, um, whereas in the past as manager, if you like, I was very much involved with first team activity and, and the squad activity. Uh, this gives me the opportunity to look at the, look at the club as a whole. Um, look at the academy and how, how the systems are um, and, and also still remain very much involved with, with how the professional outfit work. The link between the Hampshire Academy and the first team has always been strong. Does Giles hope to continue that trend? And it's something that we've, we feel that um, we've been pretty good at in the past. You know, the link between the academy and the, and the first, uh, first team structure has been close. Um, we're, we're very fortunate to be at the Aegeus Bowl here where the academy pitch is right next to the first team pitch so there has been a, a strong link but it also gives us continuity um, throughout uh, the club and throughout the different teams so, so it is it would be a big bonus if we can get to that structure. 26 year old batsman Joe Gatting signed from Sussex over the Christmas period and White hopes to help Gatting fulfil his potential whilst adding depth to the squad. Joe's a, a player that we We've identified as a talented player, um, someone that we've seen a fair amount of um, through his time in Sussex. And being neighbours, we, we spent a lot of games, certainly second 11, playing against Sussex. And he's a, he's a player that stood out um, as a very talented one, one that's uh, athletic in the field. And we feel he's a good, good fit for the group right now. And obviously adding someone like that, a talented player, that is good for the other squad members as well, competition for places and, and generally things like that. Yeah, I think competition for place is one and uh, depth of the squad the other. We, you know, we feel that there are a couple of players that are, that are in and around the, the England setup, um, so it gives us good depth. Um, and you quite rightly say competition for places. So you know, we, with Joe, he, he's, a, he's a player that hasn't perhaps um, had the background in cricket that others have had. You know, he comes from a football background um, and joined Sussex at a late, late age, uh, early 20s. So, you know, there's potential there that he's still learning the game and, and could be a valuable player for us in the future. And obviously for Joe as well, arriving from Sussex, you'll see the likes of Michael Carberry who's been over involved with England in the Ashes, the other players who are still over in Australia. So for him it must be nice to realise that this is a great place for him to learn his cricket. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, I've spoken to Joe a few times and he seems very keen to, to start up. Um, he's, he's away in Adelaide at the moment, come back for pre-season and start fresh. So it's a fresh challenge for him um, and he'll be very keen to make the most of that. Um, as we will be to try and get the best out of him if we're able to do that and he's able to, to uh, up his game and keep improving then I think it will be uh, potentially an exciting signing. It's actually, even though it, New Year sounds a long way from the start of the cricket season, when you put it into terms of weeks, nine weeks isn't very long at all is it? No, it's not, it goes very quickly as well. You, know, it's, uh, you, you get back into the indoor school and before you know it, February's passed and it is March and that's pre-season essentially. So you know, we go to Barbados on the 6th of the first group, go on the 6th of March um, and from there on in it's, it's a heavy schedule. So it's important we make the most of these winters. You know, we've got a good group around and, and everyone's very motivated to, to improve themselves. So it's an exciting time now and it's, uh, it will lead well into the new season. A lot of hard work goes on in the winter and that will be technical work and, and S&C work, strength and conditioning. So that as a base uh, is very important. Um, we're focusing very much on that side of things. Uh, a couple of areas that we, we felt that we could improve as a group um, and we're working on those this block and hopefully that will put things in place for, for pre-season and beyond. After sitting down with Giles White, our second port of call on Hampshire Cricket TV is Matt Coles, an all-rounder who has previous experience with the England Lions. After recording a career-best 10 wickets for just 154 runs last season, Coles is hoping to develop the batting side of his game to cement his reputation as an all-rounder. It's mainly been the bowling side, it's been the strong part, so that's, the, that's obviously the main bit at the minute. But there's definitely been work put into the batting and there's no reason why, why I shouldn't be able to become a permanent, well hopefully become a permanent all-rounder with just a bit more work. 
Is that targets that you set for this season to improve on your batting? Yeah, I, I want to obviously try and score score a couple of hundreds if I can with the, with the bat and prove to people that I, 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 I can bat rather than just being a 9-10 jack batter and, and show, show people what I really can do with the bat as well as the ball. Now the festive period for us at least has been about eating as much turkey as humanly possible, but for you I can imagine that's been slightly different. Um, yeah, it's been slightly different, <laughs> but um, obviously you've got to stay, stay in, in control of what, or, or notice what you're eating in that winter period, but it's mainly just yeah, staying on top of, top, of your, top of your fitness sort of things whilst away from, away from here and back home where, where there are a few more luxuries unfortunately. Um, so yeah, there are temptations, but we've just got to try and be strong enough to get through them, and um, and then they come out on the other side. And hopefully, you're still in a decent place for when you come back training, well, like like today. The 23-year-old signed a three-year deal in September, and explains his move to Hampshire as well as his England aspirations. Obviously, where I, where I decided to go on loan was ideally where I'd, where I hope to be the year after. Um, obviously, it's a shame to have to leave. Leave Kent, uh, but I'm, I'm looking forward as a as a positive now. And um, Hampshire obviously have, have taken me on board, and, and I'm going to do as well as I can for Hampshire, and hopefully, hopefully get capped at some stage. Well, not probably won't be this year, but at some stage in the in the future, just work towards that and and go from there. Obviously, you signed a three and a half year contract as well, so does that stability give you something to work off as as well? Exactly. So there's there's, there's plenty of time to. So I hope I'm settling in wise and maybe not so much time to really go in because you want to try and go get hit the ground running and like I did it obviously the first couple of games at the end of the season struggled a bit but then got into it like the last couple of games especially with the bowling um, and, and like it's got runs or, or, or not unfortunately but hopefully I can I can get past Norton and the runs will keep flowing. And if you can find that form, you've obviously been in part involved with the England Lions before, is that something that you'd like to build on and be part of again? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I definitely want to get back to where I was um, 18 months ago, really. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's obviously a little bit of a step backwards, but I'd say I take each day as it comes and fingers crossed I can get back to where I was and if not further. Although the season ahead promises to be demanding with a clogged fixtures list across both forms of the game, Coles is looking forward to the challenge. Obviously there's no break in the season in the mixture, looking at the fixture, writing down the fixtures the other day into the diary. It's, it's literally one day off a week sort of thing, so it's going to be quite tough changing from game, from, from game to game. So that, in that sense it's, it's going to be hard work, so I'll concentrate, try and concentrate on all, of, all aspects of the game, all four forms. Um, obviously enjoy one day cricket but then I enjoy four day cricket just as much. With the fact that there isn't much of a break between the two forms, is it quite hard to change your mentality in such a small, short space of time? Um, obviously requires you to be a lot more skillful, mm. um, being able to go from one day mode where you're bowling all sorts of different variations to going back to championship stuff where you're running and trying to be relentless and hitting a length. It's obviously quite tough um, to, to, to go from one to the other, but then that just shows what, how good a player you really are if you can if you can do that. Uh, and there's obviously a, a good mixture of lads here that obviously play one day cricket and, and four day cricket. So it's just getting that balance right and uh, in the in the team, which they well, especially in the past here here looking at in in, in on Hampshire in one day cricket, they've been very successful. So they've got I think they've got that side nailed down, and uh, ideally this year promotion in championship stuff and then still doing as well in. In that, in that four, in the one-day competitions would be would be ideal. It certainly will be a long, tough season for the club, and with just nine weeks until the tour of the Caribbean, things are certainly starting to heat up. Catch up with us next week for more from inside Hampshire cricket.